Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've decided to call it Ellen Try Some Wine, just generally. But this is from my awesome granddad, uh, John, who decided that he was gonna, I don't wanna say force help me to study, but kind of force help me to study, but he was basically like, oh, take this wine and do it as a blind tasting and let me know what you think it is. So that's why there's a cover on it. And I've had it for a few weeks, so I've been a bit bit ill, but I'm back on back on the booze now. So ready to try some wine. So I'll just start opening the wine. We'll see how this goes. I don't think it's gonna go very well, but you know, it's it'll be fun. It's always good to smell the cork after you um open some wine just to check that it's okay and if it smells good. This one actually smells really good. There's the, the little inside of the cork, if you wanna have a look at the color. So we know it's gonna be a red. How exciting. <clears throat> Let's pour some wine. And I've got my trusty mug's spittoon. No one got me a spittoon for Christmas. What the hell? Totally dropped like several hints in there. I got decanter though. Thanks, Tom. Um, anyways, so. <clears throat> do you, I don't know if you guys remember a little bit about how to taste, but I'll just quickly go through the sections. So there's there's four sections really. So we're doing appearance, nose, and palate, and then we've got our conclusions. So what we think the quality of wine is, etc. So I've just filled up a little bit, and you can see as you swirl it around the sort of legs on the wine. So we know it's either going to be like pretty full bodied or have um, quite a lot of alcohol. Um, so yeah, give it a swirl and then look at the appearance. Um, so this, if you're looking straight here, let's see if I can film it. Straight down at it, if you can see through the glass, then it's not deep, but if it's kind of hard to see the bottom of the glass, then it's like medium. So this is actually medium, um, which is cool. And then I'd say the color is probably um, sort of like ruby or um, garnet. If you tilt it at the 45 degree angle again, you can see it a bit better. I'm trying to show you guys, but it's not really working. I think there's a little bit of age because there's a tiny bit of brown around the rim, which is why I said garnet instead of ruby. ruby. And now we can move on to the nose. Give it a little swirl. Oh, fuck. Sorry, it was so intense. Oh my God immediately it's yeah it's 100 pronounced it's like jumping out of the glass it is definitely a full wine um so let's talk about our primary secondary and tertiary um characters so we remember that primary is all kind of the fresh flavors sort of like red fruits black fruits all, all those kinds of things for um for red wine and then secondary is anything that the winemaker's done to add flavor to the wine so like oak etc and then tertiary is all those lovely aging like characters like dried prune, well prunes are dry anyways, but like raisins and tobacco and stuff like that. So let's do primary first. It's kind of like a fruit bomb to be honest. It's like super cassisi, a lot of blackberry, a lot of bramble, sort of like a like a blackberry crumble like it's it's quite jammy it's definitely ripe we can immediately tell that this is probably a warm climate wine secondary wise there is a lot of oak it literally smells like wood but in a nice way like charred wood um it's like when you have a fire you know just go and stick your head in a fire no I'm joking and um, that smells really good to me to be honest Another indication that it's a warm climate wine is if it's got like, yeah, high alcohol. So let's think about tertiary because we've done primary and secondary. So tertiary, this is definitely got some tobacco. I don't know if you've ever had dried blueberries, but it kind of smells like dried blueberries. Um, I'm just putting that out there. And it's also got a kind of like herbal character. So they like to say tomato leaf, but honestly, this smells like tomato leaf. If you have someone who has a vegetable garden, go and smell some tomato leaves. They have this sort of pretty intense, just like vegetal, herbal character. But yeah, go and have a sniff. Let me know your thoughts. So let's taste it. I'm so excited to taste it. Oh, it's 
so good. <laughs> I'm enjoying this far too much. It's going to be really hard to spit out from now on. The palette matches the nose in quite a big way. Feels pretty well structured. You've got the lovely freshness of the like massive plum, like this is the ripest plum you've ever had. And then like some tasty black grease, like mixed together in a crumble. It's just, oh, it's just delicious. I would say that you definitely still get that quite a lot of oak, but it's way more integrated on the palette than on the nose. Like it doesn't stand out as much. It kind of just complements everything. And, brings it all together. Yeah, so you've definitely still got those tertiary characters, like the tobacco, sort of leather. Uh, again, that tomato leaf is, is coming out now. Like it's got a long, it's got a long finish as wine. I think it'll just benefit from like another couple years, another, I don't know, five years or something. And then it'll be smooth, like um, those really tasty, like big Bordeaux and things like that. Um, so yeah, this kind of reminds me of Bordeaux. Um, but I say that and then last time I got it completely wrong. Whatever. And it's a little bit fruitier than a Bordeaux actually. So I'm going to say it's probably New World. I'm going to go out there and say it's New World. Um, but we'll see. We've done it all. We've said primary, secondary, tertiary. It was awesome. Finish. Long. I can still taste it. I can still, still tell you exactly what was what was in there. So now I'm going to have an actual sip because we've done the palette. Mmm. So good. It's like chocolate. Oh my god. So delicious. Oh, the alcohol. The alcohol actually was not that bad. I don't have a burn or anything. I'm sure it probably is about 14%. Um, but it's really well integrated. The fruit is stunning. The use of oak is like enough but not too much um so yeah i'm gonna actually say i'm gonna say this wine is outstanding actually i think it's really good i'm gonna say it's probably now that we're guessing what the wine is um and i think it's definitely a, a, some kind of bordeaux blend it's definitely got cabernet sauvignon for sure um and maybe some merlot yeah i don't think it's australian because, I don't know, I don't really like their Bordeaux blend. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I haven't had enough Aussie Bordeaux blends to say it's Australian. So I'm just going to say from like what I've actually had, um, like at work and stuff, we have loads of South African Bordeaux blends. And I'm going to say that this is South African. Oh, just guessing the year is the worst. So I'm going to say it's two. I'm going to say 2009 or something like that. No, that's too old. Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to my gut. I'm going to say 2009 or 2010. So let's reveal the wine, guys. Oh my God, it's actually quite nerve-wracking. Oh, oh my God. I said 2009. It's 2009. Uh, oh, it's from Stellenbosch. Oh, that's awesome. So that's South African. I probably should have said Stellenbosch. Um, and it's mere lust. So... That's actually quite awesome. Thank you so much, Grandpa John, for being awesome and helping me to revise. I'm gonna Vivino this wine now. And interestingly enough, the alcohol was 14.5%. So it actually has quite high alcohol, so well done for integrating that, because that is not an easy thing to do. So there you go guys, blind tasting and pretending like you can actually do it. I'm actually really proud of myself. I'm totally going to have a glass after this. Um, thank you so much for all of those who have watched me so far. And shout out to my five subscribers. You guys are the coolest people ever. But if you guys have any ideas, if you want to talk about something weird, or if you want to talk about your favourite wine ever, uh, just write a little comment or send me a message and I'll track it down and we can like taste it virtually together. Thanks for joining me. Have a good evening. Bye.